My brother and I hardwired our entire house with ethernet cables. We live in an old house that wasn't wired for ethernet, so we could only use Wi-Fi, which means we weren't getting the true speeds we were paying for. The first step we took was creating the path for the cables. Our router is in the basement, so we cut some drywall in the main stairwell and drilled a small hole, allowing all ethernet cables to pass through from the attic to the basement. Next, we installed the ethernet ports themselves into the walls of each room. Now we needed cables. At this point, we weren't sure how long we needed our wires to be, so we opted to purchase a big box of raw Cat6 cabling and created the wires ourselves. We crimped the wires in each room that was going to have an ethernet drop. Once it was finished on one end, we routed the cable into the attic through the stairwell passage we made earlier and down into the basement by our router, where we finished the cable at the other end and used a cable tester to ensure the connection was made properly. Once we got the green light, we repeated this process for all the ethernet drops we needed and plugged them all into our router. And that is how 